For it to work correctly, we need to have our character fully UV unwrapped, including clothes and all of the other stuff. When you select your object and go to UV editing tab, you should see a clean UV instead of a mist that is not recognizable. If it does not have a decent UV, make sure you check out my previous tutorials. But if all of the models you want to combine has decent UVs, we can proceed. First select any of the models, go to object data properties, in the UV maps, click on the plus icon and name it baking or something like that. Select the next model, like the body or shorts, add a new UV map and name it the same thing as the last one. You gotta do the same thing for all of the models that you wanna combine the materials with. Before proceeding, it's really important to make sure the main UV map is activated in all of the models we want to bake. So go ahead and select each model. In the UV maps, the camera icon should be enabled on the right side of the main UV map. If it's on something else, just enable the main one. In the UV editing tab, select the full character. In the left window, on the top bar, close the current image texture so it shows the UV in a rectangle tile. Now we want to form the UVs of the final image. To do that, we need to edit this UV right here, which we name baking. And to change this one, it has to be selected before applying any edits. Otherwise, we will ruin our main UV. So make sure you select baking on every single model before editing the UVs. If you select all of the models and go to UV editing, then press A, you will probably see all of the UVs piled up in one place and it's hard to take them apart from each other. Now you have two options. First and easy array is that while full UV is selected, click on UV on top, then click on pack islands and press OK. It does not do a really good job in most cases, but it might for you. You can also do it by hand by selecting the UVs of each model and placing it manually, which takes time, but this way you have more control over the UVs and you can make the most important parts bigger. Once you packed all of the UVs in one UV tile, go ahead and remove the current image texture and create a new one. Name it diffuse because we're going to use this one for the base color image. Choose a higher resolution based on the type of texture you want to bake. If you're doing a big character with lots of accessories, you might need a bigger size. Select any of the objects. In the shading tab, shift A and add image texture. Choose the diffuse image texture that we just created. We want to bake the diffuse of all the materials into this single image texture. So select it and Ctrl C to copy. Then select the next model. Ctrl V and paste it here. We don't need to connect it to anything right now. Just paste it on each material you want to bake and go to the next one. Once you pasted the diffuse image on all of the materials, select all of the models, go to render settings and change the render engine from EV to cycles because baking only works in cycles. Find baking in bottom and change the bake type to diffuse. Turn off the rec and indirect because we don't want the lights to penetrate into the bake maps. But before you click on bake, you need to make sure 1. All the models are selected. 2. The baking image texture that we made is selected in the shading tab. 3. Main UV map is active, not something else. If all of them are correct, click on bake. Wait a couple of minutes for it to cook. The time it takes changes based on your system and the resolution of the image texture. Bigger the size meaning it takes more time to bake. After that, you should see all of the textures in one place, but no problem. If it doesn't need another baking, just go to image and save it somewhere so you won't lose it. As you probably know, diffuse or base color is not the only map for a PBR material. We got some other maps like normals, roughness, etc. So we have to bake all of the other maps as well. But the good part is, it's very similar and not complicated. Let's bake the roughness map first. Add another image texture, click on new and name it roughness. Change the resolution to your liking and click on ok. Then while it's selected, press ctrl c to copy and paste it onto the next model and material like we did last time. Again, you don't need to connect it to anything, just make sure it's selected, then you move on to the next model. And at last, go to render properties, in the bake section, change the bake type to roughness, select the full character, click on bake and let it cook. When it appears in the UV window, click on image and save it somewhere. Let's move on to the normal map. This map ensures we have our cloth detail in the bake version. Add another image texture, name it normals and enter the resolution. Then press OK. You can also bake each object by itself to see if there's any problem. Then add each one one by one or paste it on all of the materials like before and bake it all at once. The bake itself is the same as the last time, but we just have to change the bake type to normal in the bake settings. Then press bake. Now it should end up with a blue purple colored map. If you have more maps you want to bake, just keep adding more image textures and go over the same process again. If any of the maps doesn't bake correctly or have some sort of problem, there's a workaround for that. For example, if you want to bake the roughness, 
In the shading, just grab the roughness and connect it to emission. And in the bake section, instead of choosing roughness as the bake type, choose emit, then bake. Now the problem should be resolved. If you think you're done, we can proceed to the final stage. First select all of the maps you baked. Press Ctrl C to copy all of them. Close this material on the top and add a new one. We can name it something like main character. Cause all of our shaders gonna be here. Ctrl V to paste the maps here. And move them to the left of the principal shader. Connect the diffuse to base color, roughness to roughness, and normal to normal. But we need to make some adjustments here. Shift A and add a normal map node. Drop it after the normal map. It's probably intense, so lower it down. Now, as you can see, it looks wrong. That's cause our old UV map is active right now. So go to object data properties and active the baking UV map this time. And there we have it. Now we just have to assign the same material that we named main character to all of our other models. Then active the baking UV map on that model for the texture to wrap around it correctly. And this is the final results. We have all of these maps in one place that we can use in game engines or any other software. Hope you find it helpful and make sure to check out my Patreon and Gumroad page to download the 3D files and real-time process videos. See you on the next one. Peace.